What's up guys, it's Tammy T 2009 and I'm here with another Thomas review. So, today's going to be kind of a special review, as today we are going to be talking about the world famous 2009 hit movie, Hero of the Rails. Now today is this movie's 12th anniversary, that's right, the 12th anniversary, can anyone else believe that? I do really wish this movie a happy 12th anniversary, as this is one of the best movies I've ever seen. Now, I know some of you might be saying, well, why do you hate the CGI series, and why do you love this movie? Well, I will admit that the Sharon Miller era was pretty trash, but there was some good to come out of it, including this here movie. Now, when I first saw this movie, boy was I amazed at this. There are just a lot of good things about Hero of the Rails that top the Sharon Miller era entirely, as well as the Mattel era. Hero of the Rails is a very well-made movie. Even though Sharon Miller made seasons 8 through 16 pretty garbage, she did actually make the most heroic tale of the year, and that movie brings the delivery quite successfully. Hero of the Rails is one of the best Thomas movies I've ever seen to come out of the CGI series. And I do think that this is a perfect way to kick off the CGI series. But as for seasons 13 to 16, yeah. Even to Misty Island Rescue, Day of the Diesels, and Blue Mountain Mystery, oh my gosh, are those movies bad. I do really wish that they could have been better if they were just well written. Like Hero of the Rails here. Hero of the Rails was just so amazing. And this was the thing that never actually made me mad. Like, at first I thought Hero of the Rails would be bad when I first saw the trailer. But when I saw the actual movie itself, boy do I love it so much. And I hear that quite a few other Thomas fans actually like this movie as well. So, I thought I'd talk about this movie. So, join me as I point out all the things I love about Hero of the Rails. A few of the flaws this movie has. And just all the really good stuff about this. So come along as we take a look at why I love Hero of the Rails. It's a beautiful day on the island of Sodor, and Thomas is just filling up with water, when all of a sudden, a streak of silver shoots past him. All around the island of Sodor, all of Thomas's friends are being whooshed by this silver thing here. James complains about his paintwork, Emily's trucks nearly derail, and Toby loses Henrietta. At Napford Station, all the engines are talking about what they had just seen. And then Spencer comes along, and he explains to all the other engines that he's here because he's working on the Duke and Duchess of Boxford Summer House. As all the other engines are doing their work, Spencer comes to insult them all. A little more puff and you might make it to the top by tea time. Hex, Spencer caught up with Gordon. Out of my way, slowpoke. Dear, oh dear, it takes two old engines to pull one freight car, does it? I'm pulling five. At Tidmouth Sheds, all the engines are complaining about what just happened with their encounters with Spencer. We then get this one scene at Brendam Docks, and boy do I kind of like it. Then Spencer comes along, and he insults Thomas, calling him a little toy train, saying that he's not very strong. The other engines in return then talk to Spencer about how Thomas is very strong, and how he is not a toy. Spencer then challenges Thomas to a race, and the race itself here is actually one of my least favorite scenes, and you're about to find out why. The race then begins, and Thomas so far is getting his butt kicked. Then when he actually gets to the top of the hill, he loses control of his brakes. He whooshes past Spencer, crashing into a bunch of freight cars that have been lazily been put on the tracks for some strange reason. And then he winds up in this old abandoned forest, getting covered in a bunch of thick bushes and a bunch of branches. This scene did feel kind of weird because Thomas actually lost the race, which does kind of disappoint me, but 
hey, at least this scene gets more and more interesting. So Thomas decides to travel through the thick bushes, looking for a way out. And what he finds is so amazing. What he finds is this old, abandoned, rusty-looking engine. He goes by the name of Hiro the Japanese Engine. Now, I really love this guy. Let's actually talk about him. Words cannot describe how much I love this guy. Hiro is one of my all-time favorite characters of the CGI series. Though I do find some other CGI Thomas characters not as enjoyable as the classic series characters from seasons 1 through 7, but Hiro looks so interesting here. He's actually based off of a D-50, which is a real-life locomotive. It is black just like Hiro, and they just have a lot of similarities. Hiro here is one of my very favorite characters. For the fact that he is just an old, rusty, abandoned engine who fears that he's going to be scrapped, it does make you feel kind of bad for him. It's the same case with engines like Oliver and Stepney where they um, get scrapped, but then they're later rescued. The plot of Hero of the Rails is just so amazing. I mean, the movie doesn't really explain the plot from the beginning scenes, but when we actually get introduced to Hero, it just makes things a lot more better. Hero here is a very well-made character here. I love all his detail, I love his shape, even his personality. Like, Hero is just a very shy and wise iron giant. And let me tell you that he is just so amazing. If you guys love Hero, tell me in the comments below. Hero is actually a fan favorite Thomas character. Almost a couple people really love Hero. Now, one of the reasons that I saw Misty Island Rescue for some strange reasons is because Hero does make an appearance in this movie. Hero does appear in a few other scenes from other movies, and I'm not entirely sure how many episodes Hero has actually been, but I do think he was last seen in Marvelous Machinery, I think, where, or some episode where Kenji and Hero leave the island of Soda to go to Japan. But I do really like Hero here. Excuse me. I would say that Hero is a really well-made international engine. He tops all the other international engines. He's far better than Nia and Rebecca, as well as a few other stupid Big World Big Adventures characters. I do love Ashima as well. Anyways. The more interesting this senior gets, the happier I am. So then Thomas decides to kindly introduce himself without being scared, and Hiro kindly introduces himself. He then decides to tell Thomas his backstory about what he was. So Hiro was this engine who was brought to the island of Sodor, and he was known as the master of the railway. As time went by, Hiro then got abandoned because his parts didn't actually come, so they had no choice but to sadly leave him here just to rust up and get broken. Now, this does feel kind of sad to do. I mean, Hiro does not deserve to be as rusty as you think. Hiro is a very kind engine here. And I did like his black colors and his little design there. So, Thomas then gets this idea. And this is actually one of Thomas's very great ideas he had in the Sharon Miller era. Normally in seasons 8 through 16, Thomas would come up with all of these stupid and pointless ideas. But in Here of the Rails, Thomas has brains. And that's really important to know. I really do love how Thomas is not out of character in this movie, and he's willing to help this abandoned rusty engine. Now, Hero then tells Thomas not to tell Sir Tom Hat, because he knows what happens to engines who can't be fixed. They get scrapped, and they're sent to the smelter's yard. Poor Hero here doesn't deserve to be scrapped. So, then Thomas decides to try and fix Hero himself, so that way, Sir Topham Hat won't scrap a hero. Now, I love this idea so much. Saving an engine from scrap is really great to see in Thomas and Friends. We've seen it done with Oliver, 
We've seen it done with Stepney. We've even seen it done with old slow coach. She's not even an engine, but she was still rescued. Just this concept of rescuing engines from scrap is so beautiful here. And this is what I love about Hero of the Rails. Anyways, so another thing I love is fixing and restoring broken engines. As I see sometimes, there are people who have um, broken Thomas merchandise that is really dusty and dirty. And they do actually do restorations of these things, which is what Thomas does to Hero here. And that's what we'll find out in the rest of the movie. So far, this movie is actually coming out really good. We are now introduced to Hero, and Thomas has one big mission, rescuing him from scrap. I really love this. So that's all I have to say for this part. So far, what do you guys think of Hero of the Rail so far? Personally, I really love this movie very much. This really is the most heroic tale of the year, and there's no arguments against that. Stay tuned for part two, because we have a lot more to talk about. Thanks for watching, and happy 12th anniversary to Hero of the Rails.